Barney's. Barney, Barney's? Barney's or Barney's? Restaurant and bar. Also truck stop. L'Italie, Manitoba. So, uh, I was able to wash some of my laundry yesterday. That was nice. And now we got two full days to get us down to Mississippi. Hopefully avoiding all the chaos in the cities on the way there. I'll be going around the cities for the most part, I think. Or at least through them during the day. I don't know. Let's see. Let's hope and pray for the best and for our safety. And we're headed on down to Corinth, Mississippi. I'm going to cross the border and uh, keep our head down. Mind our own business. Bring this freight down there. Somebody, need, somebody needs it. So they're counting on me to bring it there. So... Let's go. All right, we got the shades on, everybody. Locked and loaded. Let's go. I want to get over 1,000 kilometers behind me today, so uh, uh, close to 650 miles. We'll see what happens. town is about 15 minutes from the US border crossing at Pembina, North Dakota find ourselves in uh, well, like I just said find ourselves in the, the great state of North Turn Dakota right Turn right in 130 meters. my route is taking me uh, I believe through Minneapolis later today uh, <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to go around it. I don't really feel like being around that city right now. Or in the foreseeable future. In seeing that, meters, uh, turn right on. 9 Road North, Highway 201 and then keep to the right in 90 meters. Seeing as what their city council has decided to do there, I don't really feel safe in that city. So I'll probably be avoiding it for the foreseeable future uh, for a while. I don't know what's going on there. Just, we'll just have to wait and find out. It is an extremely windy day out here again. We got a strong wind coming out of the southeast. I'm trying to push me over to the left. I gotta be careful because I got a whole group of motorcycles coming up here on my left. I wish I was one of them. Oh, those are Hell's Angels. Never mind. Never mind, I just wish I had a motorcycle. <laughs> Better be careful what I say here. <laughs> I wonder if they're on their way to Minneapolis. I think we're getting close to Alexandria here. Yeah, three more miles. This is exit 97. I'm gonna pull in there. I gotta do my half hour. I'm sitting at two hours, 12 minutes left on my eight. I have to stop in for my half hour and that should give me about another six hours to get down the road. Not sure where we're gonna stop tonight yet. Hopefully we can find a safe place. Don't need fuel yet, but man, this wind is just insane today. It's so strong. It's coming out of the Southeast. So it should bring some warm weather up North for us, but it's making this truck work pretty hard. Here we go, exit 100. Yikes, that wind noise is so, so loud, eh? It's just not letting up either. It's been like this all the way down from Canada. I'm guessing once we get onto the I-35 south of Minneapolis, it'll probably calm down a little bit. It's a little more sheltered there. We're still sort of up here on the Eastern Plains. Get these bugs off my windshield again. That'll be nice. Take a nice little breather, nice little break. Use these vehicles. I could have gone. I could have gone. I should have gone. This is a nice car, though. I wanted to see this car. Look at this thing coming from the right. You ready for it? Nice. That is what a first generation Camaro. Oh, and of course, now there's more traffic coming. Uh, Truman Show. Alexandria. 
I always say it sounds like a royal name, Alexandria, Princess Alexandria. I wonder if it was named after a princess? Probably not, probably not. This is America. Where's the pumps? All right. So this is one of those uh, flying J's that was obviously something else at one point. It's not like your typical flying J or pilot. Been getting closer to Minneapolis. All the bugs came back already, I apologize. And I've been getting passed by lots and lots of motorcycle groups. All sorts of motorcycle groups. The only ones I recognize were Hell's Angels. All the other ones, they're wearing patches, but I don't, I don't know what that is. I, I'm not familiar. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not uh, familiar with every gang or motorcycle club or group. They're not all gangs, but I'm not familiar with them all. But there is just hundreds of motorcycles that have been passing me headed toward the city. Wonder what they're up to. So, uh, I'm gonna go around on 494. Okay, I wasn't going to, but let's see if I regret this decision or not. I'm kind of strapped for time, and as long as there's nobody blocking the highway in Minneapolis, this, this saves me so much time from going around through the small towns. And I've only got a certain amount of hours left on my clock to get down to Mississippi, and if I go around, I'm not gonna make it. And I'll be really late for my delivery, so I can't, I can't, I don't have the time. <coughs> so, uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't think that they would block the 494, would they? You know, I wouldn't put anything past these morons out there jumping in front of cars and stuff. I don't know what, what they're doing, but I don't want any part of it. You go do your thing, just please stay out of my way. I got a, I got places to be. All right, I'm just, I just want to sneak through, okay? Just want to sneak through, minding my own business here. I'm a little nervous, but not too nervous. I mean, what are they gonna do? I'm not gonna cause trouble and provoke anything. I mean, if the worst comes to worst, I guess I'm just parking on the highway, but. I waited three weeks. Three weeks to come down here. I thought for sure, you know, three weeks, it'll all have calmed down by then. <laughs> Silly me, it's election year. Nothing's gonna calm down till November. All right, so, well, we gotta keep moving, so here we go. Bring it on, Minneapolis. I, I, I'm just trying to sneak through, okay? I'm gonna mind my own business. South of Minneapolis safely past the city. I've got two hours and 18 minutes available to me, and I'm gonna use up every single one that I can. Still don't know where I'm gonna stop. I probably should probably look that up, but I'm not too worried about finding parking in this area of the country. If I was on the East Coast, I'd be a little more concerned. But out here, there'll be parking. We'll find parking somewhere. Look at this, we're coming into Iowa bunch of corn out here. There's some parking spots for me. You know, all the farmers, I guess, have seeded. Well, we're down here in Iowa. In Canada, all of the, or Manitoba, I should say, all the fields are just starting to grow now. I already told him, Karen, she never listens to me. It's always complaining. Uh, in, in Manitoba, all the fields have just started to grow. The green has just started to pop out of the ground on the fields, and I'm guessing here they probably seeded a lot earlier because they're further south, got a little bit warmer climate here. Spring pops around the corner a little sooner. Oh yeah, it looks like their crops are well on their way already. So the Iowa corn is on the way. Don't you worry, they got your food. Iowa is also known for their John Deere, right? Isn't this where John Deere has their headquarters? Makes sense, Iowa. I wonder if you get a discount on John Deere products if you're from Iowa. What if you don't drive a John Deere and you live in Iowa? Do your neighbors shun you? <laughs> I would just assume, uh, I mean, I would just assume that if you're from Iowa, you're gonna drive a deer. And if you don't, that, that'd be like blasphemy, right? 
Sort of like being from Canada and getting your coffee from Starbucks. Blasphemy. Starbucks is ugh, tar in a cup. Ugh, overpriced tar in a cup. Tell you what. And we'll see where we end up. Uh, looks like uh, Karen's gonna tell us to turn in about 42 kilometers or uh, 30 miles or so, somewhere in there. And uh, we're gonna take, what is that, the 380, I-380, down through Cedar Falls and stuff, by Evans, Evansville, is that what it's called? I don't know, I don't know. It's been a good ride though, I like this area. It's nice and peaceful, quiet, lots of parking. Tomorrow night's gonna be a little harder to find parking because we'll be down in uh, Mississippi, or close to it, or maybe Tennessee. We'll see where we end up. I'll uh, be doing a reset down there. I'm gonna try to find a safe spot. I gotta go right through Memphis. Uh, so I definitely do not wanna stop in Memphis for my reset. Uh, I wanna stop as far away from any city as I can. I guess we'll just see what happens. I gotta get a t-shirt made with that. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Well, who knows? Every day is an adventure, man. All right, me and my army of dead bugs have arrived to our final resting place for tonight. We're at Casey's General Store here in Iowa. You have arrived at your destination on the left side, Center Point Travel Plaza. Center Point Travel Plaza. Very nice. Thanks, Karen. Now to go find a parking meters, spot. Make a U-turn if possible, and then turn right into 170 meters. Calm down, Karen. Let me sleep first. We'll do that tomorrow. Are these parking spots here? Or is this a driveway? Huh. I know there's spots here. I saw it from the highway. Plenty of parking. Got to find the perfect spot, you know? Don't want to blind people with my HID headlights. Look at this truck off to the right. That's a custom sleeper. It's pretty cool. Very nice. What do you think, Weasel? Got any wise weasel advice? Got some wise weasel words for us? I got a lot of weasel words, man. I'm a weasel. I'm filled with weasel words. Uh, I'm a little tired right now. Anything? Speak now or forever hold your peace. We're here. Uh, found a good parking spot all by ourselves. No neighbors. Nice. Very nice. And we should be able to get to our destination <coughs> tomorrow in one shot. If I have enough hours. We'll have just barely enough if everything goes right so hopefully we don't run into any delays or problems on the way hopefully it goes smooth through or around st louis it's the only city tomorrow i'm a little concerned about i'll have my eyes on the news and uh try to pay attention to see if anything's going down that i should be worried about but anyways it's been fun it was a good full day today it was a really good full day and uh went a lot faster with you guys here so thanks for keeping me occupied appreciate it hope you tune in tomorrow it's gonna to be another new day maybe we'll get some good footage for we'll be officially in the south tomorrow mississippi northern mississippi i don't think we're gonna see any palm trees yet but you never know you never know the chances are there there's a chance we could see a palm tree tomorrow and you know how much i love palm trees don't you you know you remember this Britt and I got matching uh, tattoos on our honeymoon on the Gulf Coast. It's not finished yet. I gotta, I wanna add weasel in there somehow and uh, finish it up yet, but uh, I've been lacking time and money. And now with this whole uh, boogeyman virus that uh, has been blown way out of proportion going everywhere, everything was closed down anyway, so I didn't have the money for it anyway, so here we are. Living the dream. Just trucking along. Thanks for hanging out. I already said that. We'll see you tomorrow.